guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to be redoing an old video that a lot of people have been asking about. This is my Falling Leaves Tumblr tutorial. I also have this tumbler available on my website for pre-order. It's going to look exactly like what I'm doing in this video. So if you want to go check that out, please feel free to do so. I'll make sure to put my website link down in the description. So the tumbler that I'm using for this tutorial is a 20 ounce from Maker Flow Crafts. I'll make sure to put a link down in the description. And I base painted it Salted Caramel from Rust-Oleum. The two glitters that I'm using today, there'll be a third one tomorrow. Um, but the glitters today, these are actually Maker Flow Craft glitters. I have had these forever. This is Chocolate Kiss and Twilight Beach. It's like a darker brown. And then this one is kind of like a champagne gold. It's not like a super brassy gold. Um... And the only thing we're doing today is an ombre with the two colors. I'm going to have the lightest one on the top and the darker one on the bottom. Um, my preference with this tumbler, I want to try to do more of the light. So I'll come down a little more than halfway and ombre a little bit um, like the bottom third with the darker color. I am using a Mod Podge and a makeup brush to do this. So I think that's it. Let's get started. I'm starting off by just covering the entire tumbler with Mod Podge. And if you're pretty new to Mod Podge, it dries fairly quickly. So I'm trying to work fast. And I'm also really trying to make sure that I have everything covered so I don't have to go back later and fix any bald spots. So I also have my air conditioner off in here right now. So I am roasting, but I don't want, for one, I think the sound of the air conditioner messes with the sound of my videos. And I don't want the air to be drying this quicker than it needs to dry so I'm gonna come in with Twilight Beach and this is also how I do my ombres cover like the top inch or two with glitter and then point it down and just start tapping and let it naturally fall I'm trying to be careful because the steeper you have it tilted the more it's going to fall and I'm just trying to get a little below halfway tap 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 get that off put this back in the jar and like I said I am really trying to work fast because Mod Podge dries pretty quick all right now coming in with chocolate kiss doing the same thing on the bottom covering like the first inch or so tilting it the opposite direction and again letting it naturally fall and I'm going to get the bottom really quick before I go in and try to fix the ombre up a little better So now that all of the glitter is on, the only thing that we need to do for today is to seal it with two times Rust-Oleum Clear and then epoxy until smooth. Last time this took two coats, so we'll see um, if I can maybe get like a thicker coating on there to try and save some time. But if not, I'll be back in a couple of days to show you guys the next step, which is going to be a lot more tedious. Okay, so it's actually just the next day. There's one coat of epoxy over this and it is pretty darn smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. This is just a vinyl cut tree. This is Oracle 651. I got the vinyl from Amazon, so I'll make sure to put a link down in the description. This exact file, guys, I have had this for so long because I made this tumbler, I think, it was over a year ago. So I, you can find them on Etsy. You can Google it. I mean, I will try to find something similar if I can't find this exact one and I'll put it down in the description for you guys. Um, but I can't honestly tell you that it will be the exact same file, but I will try. So this is some leaf shaped glitter. You can get this at the glitter grind. I'll make sure to put a link down in the description, but 
only thing we have to do is put this tree onto the tumbler and then we are going to put this is why I said it's going to be tedious we are going to put a leaf on each little branch and then I'm also going to have like a pile down all around the bottom of the tumbler so it's kind of like they were falling off and onto the ground so I'm going to show you how I do that and then speed it up because it does take a hot minute so I've got my file here already cut out, ready to go. This is six inches tall by four inches wide. And this transfer tape is not actually transfer tape. It is clear laminate from Family Dollar. Um, it's, I think it's Duck brand or something like that. So now I'm just kind of trying to find my favorite spot here on the tumbler to put the tree and slap that on there real quick. Guys, when I tell you I hold my breath when I put decals on, I'm not kidding. I literally hold my breath because I want it to be straight and perfect. I know that doesn't make any sense, but in my brain it does. All right, so there's the tree looking good. Now this is what I do to put the leaves on. I know this is <laughs> kind of silly really, but this is a little like picker tool. I did not come with my Cricut. Um, I don't think anyway. I'm pretty sure I bought it in like an off-brand um, Cricut tool bundle from Amazon. I'll try to find it and put a link down in the description. So I've just got a handful of these little leaves down on my parchment paper and I have some Mod Podge here and what I do is I take this little pick because I don't have a paintbrush tiny enough and I just put like a little glob of Mod Podge on it and I'll go through and guys it takes a little tiny bit because you put the leaves down on there that Mod Podge is going to like squish out and take a lot longer to dry so I'll just do a little bit at a time Maybe like the top little portion here and then while there's still Mod Podge on my little picker tool I'll just use it to press down on a leaf to help me pick it up and place it on the Mod Podge. Now of course it looks a little goofy right now because that Mod Podge is squishing out from it but once it dries I will make sure to show you guys the how it looks after it's dry. So the next step is to take just a little bit of Mod Podge and come around like the top or I'm sorry the bottom um, inch or maybe just a half an inch of the tumbler and I'm going to put more leaves here and I don't want them to be too thick because I don't want it to take a lot of epoxy and stuff like that to um, make it all smooth so I'm just kind of sprinkling them on with my finger whatever falls off um, falls off trying to push them down and make them as flat as I can I am trying to you know cover it um, but I am tapping off a lot of excess really pay attention to the ones on like the very like bottom rim try to get those to be nice and flat so it doesn't dry all sticking up and jagged and you don't want that all 
Okay, so when you see that all of your Mod Podge is dry, you don't see any white globs anywhere. Everything looks good. You want to seal the crap out of this thing. <laughs> I would take you outside to show you, but you hear the rain? That's so relaxing. So it is raining, but I seal it same thing, two times Rust-Oleum Clear. I normally only do one coat of glitter um, over, or I'm sorry, one coat of sealant over my glitter. In this case, I'm going to do like three coats and let each coat dry in between. Then pop it on my turner, put some epoxy over it, and I will come back and show you when everything is nice and smooth and pretty. Okay, so this only has a couple coats of epoxy over it, which is definitely not enough because these leaves down here are still pretty um, rough feeling. So what you'll want to do is take a sanding block. And I get mine from Amazon. They come in a pack of four. And I'm pretty sure I always have the links to these down in my description. Um, but I'll check just to be sure. So take a sanding block to it really good all over. And these normally take me about four coats of epoxy. Which is a lot more than I normally do. Um, but it takes a lot to get this down here good and smooth. So make sure that it's really good and smooth. Nothing's all wobbly or pokey or stabby or anything for your customer. But other than that, this is done. I am obsessed with this tumbler. I started making these late last summer to try to like prepare for fall tumblers and they were super popular with my customers. So I would definitely suggest making one of these, maybe putting them on your website for a pre-order or something like that because I mean look it's so stinking cute. And before I go, like always, I have y'all's cup of positivity for the day. Today's quote was sent to me by a good friend of mine. Her name is Cami with a lot of Tumblr tutorials. I'll put a link to her channel down in the description. Make sure you check her out because she's awesome. But she sent me this quote and I absolutely love it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. It says, you can't lift a thousand pounds all at once, yet you can easily lift one pound a thousand times. Tiny repeated efforts will get you there. That was said by Mark and Angel Chernoff, I think is how you say their last name. So thank you so much, Kami, for that quote. I love it. I've had a lot of people send me some quotes for my cup of positivity. And I love it. It's impacted you guys so much that you see a quote and you send it to me um, for me to use it. So thank you. That's all I have for you guys today. I do have, I think, one more spot on my website. For this tumbler, there's one spot left for a pre-order, so if you want to snatch this up, make sure you go to my website, CourtneysCustomsCo.com, and get that tumbler for you. I hope you guys have a great day, and if you all have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!